So here's El Prieto. And it's Monday, a holiday, President's Day. So don't expect to have your PR. Just expect to have a try to have a clean ride and look ahead of the trail. Look for hikers. And for me, I just try to clean my corners, clean my technical sections, maybe work on a new line or two, and work on my fitness and sprinting up sections that I normally didn't sprint up before. That kind of stuff. I like this section. I could do a little more spring here. Of course, I get sprinted out on my single speed. But I really feel that this trail that I do, I'm very spoiled, is the perfect trail for a single speed because you, you basically, yes, you can get more speed on these flats if I had gears and I could pedal them, but It doesn't. It doesn't um, really have too many of those sections. This one's another one that you need that that gear to grab. So most of it's gravity. Oh my gosh, I put my foot down again. I don't know what's going on with me. I used to clean that every time, but lately I haven't been able to. Last minute, I put my foot down. There's a faster line to the right if I man up and take it with speed I could do it but I'm just getting back into this guys literally if it's my seventh or eighth time and it's already February that's pretty fucking sad considering I used to ride it six times a week when I was at my peak and come up here and try to set records for doing a complete week of riding here every day not just up to the saddle and down El Prieto but up to the top and down El Prieto my tire I aired them up because they were a little bit low and I could have let a little bit out but they feel fine just a little bit tight tighter aired up tires roll faster you guys know that right the more tear pressure you have the faster your tires 
little roll because they kind of stay on top of things. Of course, they're going to jar you around on this kind of stuff more. Oh, God damn it. Washed out my front tire. Oh. That was a lame crash. That was my fault for not staying straight my front wheel. God damn it. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, you get to see my struggle today on this video. Not every day is a clean day. But I still got some sections I want to clean. And that's just how it is. I don't wear elbow pads or arm pads or whatever. So I can feel it in my elbow that and I was just talking about having more air and so probably if I air down a little bit it might help my front tire there and I, ha I always go fast on that section where my front tire lost it so I can carry the momentum on that exposed section that I just kind of clipped out and panicked. That's all it, that's all I can call it is a flip out on panic spot. That section is just a grind and go over but this is an off camera turn that that mohill needs to get shaved down there. It's getting more and bigger and bigger. Hello. Hiker hiding in the side there. So we'll see what my time is with all the crashes. Two crashes today. If you saw my video, one crash. This will be my El Prieto two crashes. Although the second time wasn't as much a crash as it was a, a pussy out on the exposed section. That's my back tire losing traction. Hello, just me. Thank you. So, just letting you guys know, I'm just a regular rider. I'm not a pro. I'm nobody special. The reason I get logo legend and can claim that title is because I ride a lot but doesn't mean I ride this trail better than everybody it just means I ride it a lot hello thank you See, those are those blind corners where if I was going too faster through there, I would be just right in front of them or doing a face-to-face -face with them going the wrong way. 
from here you can see where you're going. This you have a choice of going over this chunky stuff or going down that outside edge. Either way is fine. I just did the chunky stuff. You gotta think sometimes chunk is your friend and we'll give you a better line. Hello. Thank you. So that's it guys. I'll be interested to see what my time is. I think it's around 10, maybe 9, 45, something like that. Probably not in the 11th because I got up right away. But if you don't get up right away, or if you're just meandering through the trail at a casual speed, it's going to be obviously in the 11s, 12s, 14s. Um, my best record last year for PR was was a uh, 830, 831, something like that. So, so it wasn't extremely fast. The overall um, lifetime PR is like 650 something. Some, and then the, the fastest of the year is like seven like low seven like 701 so but with Strava you guys know that the uh, the time stay up forever so the KOM could be a KOM from somebody 10 years ago that who knows you know how the trail conditions were back then 10 years ago and who, who knows you know why he had such a fast time if it was a computer glitch. I do feel that they do need to reset that every year, but that's just me personally. You can still look at the year um, best times, but it won't be the KOM. Anyway, that's my rant. Thanks for watching, guys. That was my El Prieto with crashes. And yeah, you see I got a little bit of elbow elbow damage here but i'm fine talk to you guys later give me a thumbs up thanks for watching